New at 10 when it comes to saving lives, the Northside business might just have the corner on the emergency responders market. An auto dealer with just seven employees has had two workers honored by the Milwaukee Fire Department. Rebecca Clough is live at Hearts Auto, where these heroes work their day jobs, huh, Rebecca? That's right, George. Now, if you could pick a place for something to happen to you in the city of Milwaukee, forget the hospital. This just might be the safest place because for two years in a row, an employee from Hearts Auto has run out of the business and saved a stranger's life. It might not be easy for the average person to see, but Hearts Auto is a business of heroes. Earlier this year, Christine Gaspardo was working in the office when someone burst in yelling for help. A woman was on the sidewalk, not breathing. She was actually purple, purple and blue by the time I had gotten to her. The man who was with her ran off, but Christine sprang into action. She started CPR and had someone call 911, not even sure if the woman was still alive. I'm just going to do what I need to do to hopefully bring her back. She kept the woman alive until rescuers got there. When they left, the woman was awake. The year before, it wasn't Christine, but a mechanic, Luke Chuma, who sprang into action. He and the owner of Hearts Auto ran into a burning house. When I went into that burning building with Luke and I seen the, the smoke, I couldn't, I couldn't go no farther. I, was, I lost my breath right away. But Luke crawled on his hands and knees and made it all the way to the bedroom where the child was at. Luke directed firefighters to the bedroom where a 10-year-old autistic child refused to leave. You don't think about it, you just want to help somebody. Last year, Luke won the Milwaukee Fire Department's Citizen Award. This year, he watched as the honor went to Christine. What are the odds of that happening? They both went out of their way to save their people's lives. And Christine says she's not sure what happened to the woman or how she's doing now, but she hopes to one day meet her. For now, reporting live on the north side, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Awesome story, Rebecca. Thanks.